Hello everyone, um, I'm recording direct via Firewire output directly to my iMac. Um, I've not been able to do that recently or copy in indeed any Firewire footage, uh, whether it be live or pre-recorded on, on tape, um, because I've been beta testing the next operating system for Mac, um, uh, named Big, Big Sur, if you've not seen anything on there. Um, it's uh, not working. I've tried to get Apple to fix the issue. It's, um, it's been in the last sort of three or four betas, it's not been working, and I've been reporting again, it's not working, it's not working. They replied once saying, oh, Firewire should be working, we need to know more information. I gave them loads more information, I've never heard anything back. I don't think, quite frankly, they give a crap um, because it's an old connection, um, an old technology, and a lot of people have moved away from it. However, people like myself um, who rely on these cameras not only for my own, you know, own benefits of I want to use. I've got a lot of gear, obviously. Um, if you know my channel, um, I've got a lot of HDV gear and you know all sorts, and it, it requires firewire. Um, but also because um, the odd work that I do is video archiving, which again is because people are sending me their old tapes because their camera's broken or they don't have the, the right connections and they know how to get that onto the computer. So I need to have that working. So I'm really disappointed that Apple haven't been being able to manage it or if they've even bothered. Um, it seemed like a really generic uh, message back going, oh, Firewire should be working. It's not. I've, t I've reported it. You've not fixed it. So I've, I ended up spending most of last night um, going back, which is always a pain because I basically have to, if you're going backwards with software, you have to delete everything. Uh, so I just wiped and uh, started again with the hard drive, reinstalled my applications, um, got a new uh, new few effects today, um, which is one of which you're seeing here. Um, though this is obviously filmed in 4.3, you're getting stuff on either side that I can't see at the moment because I'm recording live, so I'm only seeing the standard camera view, but by the time this is all edited and uploaded to YouTube, you will have something going around on either side. Um, there's a very good reason for doing that with Final Cut. Um, uh, with Final Cut, the reason being is that you can obviously you can go into the project settings and override it because by default it's auto. So it, it bases your timeline, your project settings based on the first thing that you put into it. Um, so if I capture this software like I'm capture this video like I am and simply drag that footage into the timeline, it will then auto scale down to 720. Um, the, the video is obviously 480 or around that that side. It's a slightly higher resolution, but essentially a standard definition, so it's 480, 520 it's on, on those sort of lines. But um, if I then I just upload it, it actually uploads at a lower resolution than the actual camera produced. So uh, a good getaway around it, and why you'll see some of the videos on your mobile phone, instead of being full screen, they are showing blackboard as I've said, it's because I've done it as a 1080 project setting. Uh, and long story short, by putting this um, clip, I think you're seeing on either side, in first, which is a 1080p image, then the project is 1080p by default, and then anything I put after there will not uh, reduce the quality of the upload. Uh, so that's a good getaway around it. Uh, if you're uploading a lot of four by three, um, yes, you can manually overdo it, you can manually change settings, but if you've got a 1080p intro like I have now done for a, a few ones, I've got the actual handy cam intros and stuff, that's all 1080p footage. Drop that in first, anything after that, it doesn't matter, it's still going to be output as a 10, 1080p uh, video, and then YouTube at least looks, the video looks the best it can do, basically, without you seeing it raw from the camera to a TV, which again always looks better, but it's just YouTube compression. But a bit of a random video, but I thought I would just post one. Uh, the weather's currently shit, so I'm hoping to get some thunderstorms. So, you know, I love my thunderstorms. So if you've been watching me a while, I've mentioned it quite a few times. Um, the only downside of the weather randomly changing, um, which is a lot at the moment because I have fibromyalgia, uh, like some sort of electrical weather gauge. Uh, my uh, condition will flare up, or tends to flare up between changes in weather. 
Um, but I've always loved thunderstorms. I continue to love thunderstorms. Um, but yeah, it's just raining at the moment, um, but I'm hoping for a storm later, in which case I will film it on something. May it be this camera or, you know, one of my many <laughs> in my collection. Really happy with this camera. It's like the third or fourth day I've had it now. Uh, and it's just been recording perfectly since I put a brand new tape in it and gave it that clean head uh, treatment with the tape. I've got the proper Sony original 8mm tapes, which I've got about four now in my collection, luckily. Uh, which I really need when you have as many sort of 8mm cameras as I do, plus obviously the video archiving service that I try and do when I can. Um, it's it's uh, made the camera work like perfectly brand new. But this is just to say live, this isn't, a, I didn't need to record this on a tape, it was a waste of a tape really, because I'd have to uh, record over it really, because these are just, it's, it's a YouTube video direct. So, um, I know it was a as a thought, just get the camera plugged in, get it working now that I can enjoy the connection working again. It looks like I'm going to be stuck until Apple fix their way. Um, I'm going to delay when this, this new Big Sur update, or however they want to pronounce it, comes in, I think, October, or sometime in October. So very soon, obviously, it's the 30th of September today. Um, when that drops, I'm going to leave it as long as possible before I upgrade, because if I upgrade now, I mean, when it first comes out, they probably wouldn't have patched it if they even bothered to patch it at all. Anyway, I thought I'd do this little video uh, just as a random waffle uh, to mention my fi fire wire issues. Um, and uh, yeah, say so there's more content to come. Um, there's uh, an unboxing, um, not of a brand new product, and then when, when do I ever really do brand new products on this? Very, very rare do I do, I do that sort of thing. Um, seldom, that was the word. Very seldom do I do that sort of thing, is that right? Who knows, I've said it now. Uh, yeah, I've got a um, CD cassette Sony boombox coming uh, to me, for, uh, picked up for pittance really on eBay. Uh, so I will be demoing that when it comes, hopefully tomorrow. I'll be filming it on a camera that's relevant to the time. It's a 1999 deck. Sony, as everything Sony, I've got so much Sony stuff. Um, so I will film it probably on the TRV110 because that will be both 1999 products where this is 2000. Um, and I'll speak to you later because I'm waffling as I usually do. I always waffle. Waffle, waffle, waffle. I wouldn't mind some waffles. I do like waffles. I've had them in ages. I'm going to stop talking. I'll speak to you in the next one. Goodbye for now.